this video is the how to calculate the work done in a variable force or you can say when the force is variable it also contains the mathematical treatment like how to derive it mathematically followed by the example of it so please watch the whole video and if you have any doubt regarding the video please do let me know in the comment section below and if you like my video please do like and share my video and also subscribe to my channel and also press that bell icon so that whatever I upload you get the notification first so I'm Dinesh, you're watching Dinesh Nyal classes. So let's start with our class today. Work done by a variable force. Now see, in this case, the force is variable. Now if you draw the graph, you can see this fx. This is a variable force and a, or you can say the, this is the y-axis, the variable force and x-axis represent the distance. Here a and b represent the, display, the distance or you can say displacement from, like the total displacement from a to b. And this is, like this graph represents the variable force. Now, the work done, to calculate the work done in this variable force is actually W is equals to the area under A, B, C, D, A. A, B, C, D, A. Means the work done will be area under this graph. So, hence, work done by a variable force is numerically equal to the area under the force curve and the displacement axis. Okay. Now here is some mathematical treatment for work done by a variable force. Now look at this diagram. Suppose we have to calculate the work done in moving a body from point A, this is point A, to point B, this is point B. Now, you can consider this as SA, consider this as SA, and this is SB. Okay. <coughs> so, we have to calculate the work done from point A to point B under some variable force. Here SA and SB are actually the distances of point A and B with respect to some reference point. It's just we are taking SA and SB, otherwise the points are A and B. At any stage, suppose the body is at P where the force on the body is F. The body is at P, the force is at F. Under the action of this force only, you suppose that the body undergoes an infinitesimally small displacement PQ. So this is that displacement PQ which is represented by DS. Hmm? Now during such a small displacement, we assume that the force to remain constant. So basically in displacing from P to Q, we suppose that the force remains constant. They are taught during the displacement DS, the force is constant. Now. Then a small amount of work done in moving a body from P to Q is given by DW. This is a small work done, which is equals to F dot DS. <coughs> F dot DS. F. So DW is F dot DS. As DS, see, DS tends to 0. It is tending to 0. This is not equal to 0. The total work done in moving the body from A to B can be obtained by integrating the above expression between S A and S B. So the this will be W that is equal to integration of S A to like from A to B and integrating this part F dot D S. For an example, now for example of the variable force, we consider a block attached to the spring. The force on the block is k times the elongation of the spring. We know that k is what? k is the spring constant. As the elongation changes with the motion of the block, therefore, the force is invariable. So this is an example. Example of string. Spring, sorry, is an example of a variable force. Okay, now let's do an illustration. Now consider a force F, which is 10 plus 0.50x, x on a particle in x direction where F is in Newton and X is in meter. Find the work done by this force during the displacement from X equal to 0 to X equals 2 meter. Now see here what is F given? F is actually 10 plus 0.50X. Now this is given to you. Now small amount of work done in moving the particle through a small distance is what? DX, so the small distance is DX. Now we can, we know that DW is what? DW equals f dot dx 
which is equals substituting the value of f 10 plus 0 0.50 x dot dx okay now the total work done the total work done is what is the total work done so this w equals integration of x equal to 0 x equals 2 so this is 10 plus 0 0.5 x dx so this is the expression for the total work done now integrating this part so by integrating you know this will become 10x 10x plus this will be 0 0.5 x square by 2 from 0 to 2 okay now this will be 10 of 2 minus 0 plus this is 0 0.5 by 2 which is 2 square minus 0. So this becomes 20. This is 0 0.5. This is 4. Minus 0 is 4. Cancelling. This will 2. 2 into 0 0.5. 1. This is 21 joule. Hence this is the work done.